An automatic watch below the 100 euro mark, is this possible? I wanted to find that out and searched for the cheapest Invicta on Amazon I could find. This is what I got. Hello and welcome everyone, Konstantin aka Mr. B back with another video and as mentioned before I went online to check out which automatic watch I could get under the 100 euro mark. I found this little yellow box. I'm eager to present you what's inside and um, yeah, just let's check out what I got and what is my opinion about it. So without further ado, check it out and have a closer look. You might ask yourself from which brand Invicta took the inspiration creating this particular version and you are right, of course, it's from Steinhardt. No, actually not, it's a submarine homage, but a well-made one from my point of view. You've got on the one in this so-called nipple dial you could find also on the vintage GMT and Submariner models from the 80s. And this is sort of nice from my point of view, 40 millimeters of diameter, a very good bezel because the bezel action isn't that bad at all. It's grippy, it has satisfying clicks, it doesn't feel cheap or as cheap as I would have expected for a below 100 euro watch. Inside does take the NH35A which is a Seiko movement and a decent one. Handy, hacking, manual windable, quick set for the date, so nothing to complain about that. 200 meters of water resistance is as well pretty good from my point of view. So I think an everyday carry piece. The bracelet as well is well made. It's full metal, just the end links are hollow like you have in the 14060M from Rolex, by the way. So it's not that bad. The clasp, protected um, protection um, clasp um, with some fine adjustment possibilities. Overall, I think a very interesting package and you can wear this piece like as an everyday carry one for your holidays. The crystal, it's a mineral crystal, so no sapphire, no hazelite. I would have preferred hazelite actually because it would have given this watch a sort of vintage charm, but I don't want to complain about it too much. As an everyday carry piece, holiday piece, fun piece, this is definitely a pretty cool watch to consider. All right, guys, I'm right now very eager to learn about your opinion about this Invicta and whether you have any experience with this brand or this particular model. I'm excited to present you in the next video of course a detailed review and comparison to my GMT Master, so stay tuned for that. I wish all of you guys now a very happy Easter weekend together with your families. I look forward to seeing you in the next one, saying goodbye and auf Wiedersehen, euer Konstantin. Ciao guys!